discuss the refraction phenomenon exhibited by light energy. We observe that when the light travels from one medium to another medium, it always deviated from original track. It always bended from original track. This bending is termed as refraction of light. For example, in this case, the light travels from air to glass that is from <laughs> rarer to denser medium. This is the normal line, this is the incident ray, this is the original track of the light. But light travels from air to glass, it deviated from its original track that is it bended towards normal. So, this phenomenon is termed as refraction of light. Snell's gave two law for refraction of light. First, the incident ray, normal refracted ray always lies in the same plane. Second law, also known as Snell's law, it states that the ratio of sine of angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction is always constant and this constant given by mu. This mu is refractive index. Here it is A mu G because light travels from air to glass. So, A mu G reads as refractive index of glass with respect to air. This refractive index tells us about the bending pattern of the light energy. For example, the refractive index of water, glass and diamond in respect to air is a mu w is 1.33, A mu g is 1.52, A mu d, d stand for diamond is 2.42. So, you can say very clearly when the light travels from air to these three medium, the maximum bending will be in the case of diamond because the diamond density is much more higher than water and glass. The cause of refractive index is the change in speed of light. Snell also find the refractive index of medium with respect to air. Here we have taken the example of air and glass. So, A mu G is equal to C by V, where C is velocity of light in air and V is velocity of light in medium. So, in other words, you can say that refractive index is also defined as ratio of velocity of light in air to the velocity of light in that particular medium. Now, we are going to discuss very important phenomenon that is the principle of reversibility. It is related to the refractive index. So, activity is very simple. This is a beaker. In this beaker, we have taken water. Water is basically a denser medium in respect to air. So, on the free surface of air and water, this is the incident ray, this is the angle of incidence and this line is normal. So, when the light travels from rarer to denser medium, it bends towards the normal. So, this R is the angle of refraction. This refracted ray, we have arranged the inclined plane mirror inside the beaker and we are arranging the inclination of mirror in such a way. So, this refracted ray is reflected back along the same track. So, for first case, when the light travels from air to glass using Snell's law, we have A mu w is equal to sin i by sin r equation number 1. But after reflection from plane mirror, like in this case, when the light re reverses back, this light, this, this, so, after refraction using Snell's law, you can say that light travels from water to air. So, we will write W mu A is equal to sin R by sin I because this R after reflection act as angle of incidence and this I angle of refraction. So, 1 by W mu A can be 1 by sin R by sin I when you simplify this is sin i by sin r equation number 2. Very clearly you can say that in equation 1 and 2, the right side having the same ratio sin i by sin r, sin i by sin r. So, we can equate equation 1 and 2 
and after equating equation 1 and 2 we have a mu w is equal to 1 upon w mu a. It means the refractive index of water with respect to air is numerically equal to reciprocal of refractive index of air with respect to water. So, if you know the refractive index of one medium with respect to other, you can find out accordingly the refractive index of a first medium with respect to second medium also. So, principle of reversibility is very very useful, later on we will use it whenever it is required.